So the thing that I, I'm really excited about as of this very moment is one, it's released. So several of my clients now are open to the idea of actually using it to, I guess you could say, clean up their soup of Docker containers everywhere. I think it's pretty cool because you've had this container mania that has sort of come up with Docker recently in the last couple of years, and Kubernetes has, has sort of found its place as a center of gravity within all that. So you've got your Mesosphere on one side, your core OS on the other side. Mm -hmm. Up top, you've got Docker, Rancher, uh, Rocket, uh, and then you've got the Google Cloud Engine down below. And so I think it just provides a nice orchestration level, level and also, as I said, a center of gravity for this whole movement. Uh, the most exciting thing about Kubernetes for me is its DevOps potential. I think that the key problem that we're seeing with a lot of the developers and customers that we work with is we've, we, we're solving for the problem of running containers at scale, and that's great. But I think developers hit this point of kind of, now what? Like I have containers, but what do I do next? Like how do I do simple things like logging and service discovery and networking? It's kind of new territory. It's, a, it's the new world of containers. How do you do those things? And what we're seeing is that Kubernetes, it's just really sensibly opinionated. It has these design choices that just make sense and give a sensible path forward. So developers can just take those good features and then uh, focus on building their apps, which is what they're there for. Right? If a cluster is misbehaving, we can just replace the cluster and put up a new Kubernetes cluster from scratch, running the same code reliably. If a machine is misbehaving, we can replace the node. We don't need to spend hours debugging failures, hoping that our cattle have become pets in the interim. Everything really is cattle. It's really just smooth like that. We've been looking into virtualization and container technologies over the last several years. And uh, while we've been able to do one-offs and whatnot in our labs and things, it's never We've never seen a way to really get to the point where you could have a distributed uh, install. And so Kubernetes to us, it's, it's exciting because it allows you to really, it's this first orchestration technology that, you know, seems pretty easy to use, seems to cover a lot of use cases, and I think, you know, I'm excited about the architecture, so. Kubernetes is a really cool piece of infrastructure that we can deploy, and there are a bunch of interesting things we can kind of do with it with Juju, like we can connect it to monitoring stacks like the Elk stack using Logspout, or we can connect it to other things that we are doing with our, our Docker charm and uh, like overlay networks, SDN. So we have, we, we're building sort of a plug-in system so you can uh, hopefully soon use Weave and Calico with Kubernetes. So we find it really interesting. We also find it really interesting because there's cool stuff that you can do in Kubernetes basically deploying your applications. So we're, we're building ways to sort of help people automate that as they're man managing their Kubernetes cluster. To integrate containers into our system, we need a management platform for it. And uh, we have seen the openness of Kubernetes uh, community, and uh, we believe in the experience um, that Google has run the containers for years. So uh, I think uh, maybe Kubernetes is our best choice. And it's just nice to see how you can have Kubernetes as that middle layer to orchestrate your, you know, your, your cloud uh, infrastructure. To me, it's like replacing so many patterns that are just not efficient, right? Instead of adding capacity for one little cluster here, one little thing there, instead of going onto a server and like installing packages or putting this library over there, this whole container cluster Kubernetes package lets you just provision your cluster up front and then allocate your sources accordingly. And like, I think it's better than anything else I've used before in the past. Yeah, so I think what's exciting about Kubernetes is uh, we started with this vision of wanting to do you know, Google-like infrastructure for other people, and there weren't a lot of tools around. And so we started looking at the space. Docker was emerging at the time. Um, we had built etcd, which is a consistent store, which is necessary and actually used by Kubernetes. Uh, and then we started going down the path of building this scheduler thing, and it was just it's really difficult. You have to get the service discovery right. You have to get the load balancing right. You have to get all these pieces correct. And this is kind of where Kubernetes shines. Is it takes a lot of the experiences and the things that Google has learned internally and uh, applies that expertise and those uh, painful lessons uh, into an open source project. And that's what what's, we find really exciting about Kubernetes.